Okay, second interview of 15. Uh, Juan Alderetti, out of nowhere, the man has done something that is extremely difficult. One of only two people that made it in the top 15 for the first time. Uh, let's hear it for Juan. Uh, Juan, since you've never done this before, and some people don't know you, a lot of people do, but uh, for those who don't know anything about you, tell us a little bit about yourself. What, what's your background? How did you come into real estate? Yes. Yeah. So um, uh, I, I, uh, I, was, um, I wanted to get into real estate maybe since I was in high school, maybe about like 17, 18 years old, more or less. And um, after, after I graduated high school, I started going to college, uh, at Mission College, Pierce College. And when I transferred over to CSUN, I got a job right across the street over at Chase. So I, uh, I was a bank teller, and I was a bank teller for like a lot of, uh, a lot of the realtors here. I was a teller for Rodney, Patrick used to go over there, Fernando, um, like well, other realtors too that I didn't know. Number 13 in the company. So yeah, that, that is awesome. Um, at what point, Juan, did you realize that you were going to be successful in this business? Um, I, I honestly don't feel like I'm that successful just just yet. But I would uh, say, I, honestly, I would say since the beginning, I, I I knew that I as soon as I got here, I get really I get to the office really really early, um, a little bit earlier than majority of the people that that were working here at that time. Um, and I think ever since I, I saw that, I, I did it for a year, two years, three years, four years. I, I kept the consistency up of getting here early, uh, Monday through Friday, Saturdays, um, getting here early, leaving late. I figured, you know what, along, along the course of time, I, I, I'll start to just grow and grow and grow and grow. Butting heads at all with Angel and Jimmy, they're, they're probably calling the same people you're calling. Um, last year, I think I went on a listing appointment against Jimmy. Uh, he, he ended up getting it from me, but uh, not not that much, no. Yeah. So, were you? Uh, did you find out afterward, or did you find out when you went on the appointment that Jimmy had already been there? Oh, I was sitting down with the uh, I was sitting down with the sellers, and I hear the the, the door knock or the door ring, and then I'm like, oh man, like, oh, like I just gotta like like sharpen up and, and try to get the listing. And um, and I, I wasn't able to get it. And then when I walk outside, Jimmy was there like waiting to go inside. And I was like, oh man. So he, he was next in line to be interviewed. Yeah, yeah, and, and, uh, and he ended up taking it. So, so <laughs> did, did you feel kind of hopeless at that point? <laughs> yeah, I was like, my, like, my stomach just, I was like, oh man, like. <laughs> Anytime that I, that, I, uh, that I get off track or Maybe sometimes I'm feeling a little bit down or life, right? Um, since since I, I started so I made it a big point to start investing into myself, right? So like reading, audibles, going to the gym more consistently, um, writing out my my goals or what I want to accomplish, whether it's financial, personal, small things, whatever it may be. But one one very very crucial thing is um, as soon as I start feeling down, is I I maybe read for like 10, 15 minutes and not let anything bother me for those 10, 15 minutes or 20 minutes or whatever me, maybe. Not think about work, not think about any any problem or stress and just, yeah, just mellow out for a few minutes. Is that, uh, to, to add on to it, is the reading uh, motivational stuff or is it just fun stuff or? Um, it's mostly motivational stuff. I'll wake up around, uh, I wake up at 4.30 but I'll snooze for like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll get up out of bed right around 4.45. Uh, I try to get to the gym at five. My goal is to get to the, get to the gym at five, five o'clock, but I've been getting like at 5.10, 5.15, which I need to like revamp it and, and, and sharpen up and get there at five sharp. But from 5.15 to like 6.20, 6.15 more or less, one hour at the gym, um, and then try to get back to the office uh, like 7, 7.30 a.m. First and foremost, uh, that I need to change is, um, or I need to start is, is the mailers, 100%. I think by doing mailers, I'll get maybe at a minimum, maybe six more listings a year. Minimum, if, I, if I'm mailing once per month and I'm out in the, 
if I'm out knocking and if I'm doing an ice cream truck, a minimum six, six deals per month, uh, per month, per, I mean every day, but per year. Um, and then the other thing that I need to start doing is when I'm out in the farm and I'm knocking is get the, I guess there's this app, I'm not sure what the app's called, but I, Richie has told me about it and, and Antoine, um, likes it's like an app where you go around the neighborhood and you know exactly whose names uh who belong who, whose property is and you can put your notes from. so that i think those two things are going to bring me more, more listings in um in 20 in this year 2020. mojo is the main one that i that i uh, do my follow-ups with and then uh, on follow up boss just, just those two for, for those who don't know what tell them what crm is um i think it stands for customer relationships uh, manager it's uh where you input your your um, your leads, right? You you categorize them whether they're they're hot, they're warm, they're cold, they're a buyer, they're a seller, on where they came from. Just your um, I, I guess your 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 database, your your backend. Compelled to to say, uh, Juan, you are truly an inspiration, and 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 again, we get to watch someone bloom, and I think everybody <laughs> should keep their eye on you to watch how you're gonna grow. Jimmy and Angel are gonna love you because truly you're gonna be uh, in those ranks, you know, competing with those guys. And I got goosebumps just listening to you. I've been coming to these for many years and you're truly an inspiration. I have three pages of notes and I gotta tell you, I'll do what I can to start following this. And uh, you're just awesome. And I cool, see man. him Thank come you. in every, every day. He's here walking through here and uh, your, your honesty is very refreshing, so I cool. just... Hardy, that's, that's the most positive I, thing I, I've I, ever I, heard I, you I, say. <laughs> to us old dogs, excuse that language, uh, yeah. and new I can get away with this. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Um, I'm looking at you for the first time, I've never met you, and I'm quite impressed, so you want to list my house? No, no. Um, <laughs> so my question to you is, is this your uniform that you wear day in, day out? Because I think that's really important to, to understand. Yeah, so, good, really good question. So, um, I started... Um, when I'm when I'm at the office, I I, I won't wear like a like a like a jacket or anything like that. Um, I will wear like like work pants, um, like slacks, right? Um, like a button-down shirt. Um, in 20, I, I made it an effort to start wearing a tie when I'm door knocking after Jimmy's last interview. Um, I, I, I before I would go, I would still go with like slacks, right? Your your tennis shoes or whatnot, um, but no tie, and I would still get some i guess decent response but as soon as i started wearing literally just a tie even though it felt kind of weird and kind of felt uncomfortable um it made a whole, like a huge difference honestly i've taken a few, a few overpriced overpriced listings yeah so you take so you, it and uh, oh um uh, yeah, in 20 in 2019 2018 i took a few overpriced listings yeah but but oh. at what level would you take it? In other words, if, um, if it's maybe ten thousand over, or or what if they want fifty thousand over? Would you still take it? Definitely not fifty thousand uh, dollars over. But I would say anywhere between no more than no more than maybe like three to five percent of uh, market value. So you take one five yeah, percent, like, five percent above what it's worth. Maybe like twenty k over, twenty five k over, but probably not forty fifty thousand dollars. Juan, where, where do you see your career five years from now? If you had to predict, what what kind of numbers would you be looking at? Uh, Have you thought that far ahead? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, I really want to be number one. All right. So, so so tell us five years from now, what what kind of numbers? You, you, then I'll, I'll actually remind you in five years when I interview you, then, then uh, we're going to say, hey, back in 2020, you said, give us some numbers. So, let's see. In five years, well, that'll be 20, 2025, right? Yep. I, I will be doing, I will be number one. And I should be doing, well, I guess number one, you have to do like 100 deals now, right? <laughs> so uh, 100 deals. I would say, I, I want to get an assistant. So that has me fired up to like put more deals in. So I don't have to, so I can start delegating a bunch of the things that I, I'm not really good at and and that takes away from my prospecting and, and getting business time. 
So that has me fired up, just getting more deals. And then so I can get an office. All right. Besides, besides the business, what are your lifelong dreams? My lifelong dreams. Um, I think um, just to just be like a great, great businessman, but more importantly, be like a better family man once I have family and, and, and have time to, um, I know if I put in the work right now and I, and I, and I just work and, and try to grow as much as possible and try to learn from everybody, um, maybe by the time I'm, I don't know, maybe 50 years old or something like that, I, I will be able to have more time with my family then and be able to dedicate to them like a, like a lot more than I, and I probably you know would be able to do now. that. That's a good note for us to end today. You've done a fantastic job. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll see you up here next year. Yeah, for sure.